All right, we're back making waves here at DevSec Atlantic, and uh, we've had some great guests on over the last couple of days, and they just keep on rolling in. But our next guest brings a different perspective altogether, and this is uh, Andrew's first uh, defense trade show in person, uh, relatively new to the defense sector, but I've known Andrew for quite a number of years. Andrew came through the engineering program that I worked on him. On uh, uh, Andrew, I know him to be an entrepreneur. I know him to be an international business person and uh, an all-round good young fellow who's going to make a lot of waves in this industry. So. Without further ado, Andrew, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh my goodness, well, what is there left to say, really, at that point, an international business person. You are indeed. Um, no, um, yeah, so obviously thank you for having me. This is, this is wonderful. Um, I am an account executive at Cardinav uh, currently. Al, actually, I'm sure as most of your audience knows, is a, a wonderful connector. So he actually linked me up with our COO, Carl, who was on this podcast. He was indeed, earlier. yeah. Yep. He was, yeah. Um, I've been there for about 16 to 18 months, right at the sweet spot of the pandemic. Um, just got over to the office about uh, 12 months ago. I've been really enjoying working there. And then also working sort of internationally with right. a lot of reputable companies. Yeah. So, so uh, Andrew, you, you, you made light of the fact that you're not an international businessman. But come on, you did a little bit of time in Cairo where you helped build a program over there that was very industry connected. Yeah. And you helped with the recruiting of students. I mean, you were in a part of the world that you probably weren't used to, yet you were able That's to manage sure, yeah. all of that. That's an incredible skill set. Tell us a little bit about where you're from originally. Oh yeah, sure. Um, so from Prince Edward Island, uh, Prince Edward Island, Canada, yeah. obviously. Uh, I sort of grew up in a smaller area. Uh, so then eventually when I uh, was picking a school to go to, I, I stayed local. Yeah. Um, so I went to the local school, which is not a bad way to end up saving money while you yeah. go through as well. I did well. the same in St. John's. So. Exactly, right, yeah. And people recommended it. I did not enjoy it at the time, but that yeah. was the way to go. Right. And uh, that's where I linked up with Al, yeah. obviously. Um, I think we, I wouldn't call it working together, but we spent a lot of time together in the program. We did, yeah. Uh, I was, I guess, helping uh, with a lot of the recruitment, yep. which then when I did end up going to Cairo, the, the, so the skill set there yep. um, was very important. They, they sort of just point, uh, pointed me and shot me at uh, students over there right, to yeah. give them the spiel. on. The yeah, you went all program. through Africa and how everything, long, eh? How long are you out yeah. of the program? How long did you graduate? Oh, uh, four years. Four years. Flies by. <laughs> yeah, flies by. Four years. So, uh, so here you are, DevSec Atlantic. Yep. Uh, pretty uh, impressive show. A lot of big so, yeah. players here, a lot of innovative small companies here. What are your thoughts so far? Yeah, so uh, it, I think the best, the most interesting part for me is uh, getting to put faces to names. Right. Yeah. I mean, I've talked with so many people in the industry already, but actually sort of getting to meet them in person, there is... There is an element to that I don't think that can really be replaced, even right. with video calls and stuff like that. It is better to meet them, um, get out and actually talk to them, maybe get lunch with them, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and then just seeing, I mean, honestly, I, I'm a tech guy, yeah. I'm an engineer, so even seeing companies that have no relation to right. Cartnav, uh, sort of grilling them, seeing what they're actually up to, and then, if not related to us, see where the industry is moving in general. Yeah. You know what, I'm going to throw a bouquet to my buddy here. because I Yeah, a bouquet. Because <laughs> it's like VOCM. Good, good, good for him <laughs> for bringing you on. You're four years removed from the program. What I will tell you, he's an amazing uh, connector. But I'll tell you this. Everyone in this room wants you to be successful. Yeah. We want you to be successful. Yeah. Yes, there's comp competition and all that. But I'm telling you, you are already on track to be a fantastic business development uh, person in this industry. So I just want to throw that out there right away. So 100% uh, Jerry, I mean, there's no doubt about it. Uh, there's, uh, you got a knack for this kind of work, right? Um, and you're clearly able to circulate through the room at ease. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, and you enjoyed doing it. That, that's a skill, right, that not everybody necessarily has. You see a lot of opportunities here while you walk around? For not um, only uh, the company, but for people like you, right? I mean, yeah, there's, uh, 
there's everything here from sort of your your basic like I mean I wouldn't call it basic but highly skilled sort of airplane parts manufacturers right to then I was even looking at a booth that had a they're launching CubeSats right so I was, I was thinking man like there was a few years ago you would never imagine that you could possibly have your own satellite right but now there's actually companies that are able to launch satellites and get right. data from that so yeah yeah I know a huge potential a huge potential a lot of growth in the industry uh, Andrew we really appreciate your perspective brand new into this sector yep. for sure but there's no doubt about it you're approaching it in a perfect fashion and I think you're going to be incredibly successful oh, in the you. defense and marine sector so thanks very much for coming on oh, absolutely. making yeah. waves a lot cheers. of fun thank yeah. you cheers thank you Good to see ya. feed on the optimism there's a lot here <laughs> you got it